Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and I'm having so much fun using this scallop punch. So guess what? I'm going to be making scallop embellishments. So let's get started. This is a two inch scallop punch, and I will put the link to where you can find this. I'm having so much fun pulling out my papers here, just some random papers. I'm going to punch a few out. I did start already uh, punching some of these, but I am having a ball with this. So I'm just going to use some of my scraps. I think scraps are one of the, the best and cheapest supplies you can have. And I'm just taking a couple of these and I'm going to just punch some of these out. Just kind of random with these. This one is going to be really pretty. I love this burst of yellow. It's always fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to punch a few more of these out and then we'll come back and start decorating them. These are just so fun and random. I love the variety of colors. Um, this is mindless crafting to me. <laughs> and so I'm gonna be using um, some of my gems, which I always like just to add some sparkle to a couple of these. Pulled out a bunch of those. And I don't want to be thinking about this too much. I do have some um, stickers that was sent to me in Happy Mail. Look how cute those are, adorable. I love owls. I do have some of these little tiny embellishments and they're kind of 3D, so I'm gonna hot glue some of these on. Super fun. Got some strips of paper here. And I'm going to be putting messages on some of these as well. So I'll probably be layering some of those strips of paper with these. Um, these are Tim Holtz uh, sticker words or word stickers. So I thought these would be really fun to use. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and work through this process. I want this to really kind of be a calm, mindless crafting. So I will talk you through what I'm thinking as I go through this. Okay, so look at this. These are cute too. I'm absolutely loving that. Look at that pineapple. And put one on here. I don't want to just be matching everything up exactly. That's so cute. Good little cherries. So adorable. Oh, I love that on the yellow there. And you're going to, when life gives you lemons, look at that. It's cute little adorable lemons. <laughs> I've got a few of those also. see how I want to do this other one. Maybe put it on there. We'll see. But I could always switch things up. And look at that strawberry. Super cute. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we'll see. I may change it up. Not sure yet. Got some of these banners also. And... I'm going to be doing a couple of things with those banners. Maybe I'll put some at the back, which is another thing you can do. But for right now, I'm going to just leave that at the front there. And I can always grab more papers if I want. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and start gluing stuff down. Don't want to be thinking about it too much. And these are nice dimensional stickers on here. Not that way. I'm just going to add just a little bit of glue on here.
here, let's see. Some there. I'm not gonna put my lemon on yet. Super adorable. Let's put an owl on one of these. I'm kind of liking that, so let's look. I've got my hands full here. Look at that. <laughs> one there. Stick that on here. And then take my owl, stick it right on the side here. Just like that. And these can go on cards. Remember, you can use these for your cards. So that's just another thing you can do with those. And my owl needs a little heart. So he's already got some texture right around here, some nice little sparkly stuff. So I'm gonna add a heart right there. And these come together so quickly. They're so adorable. Okay, let's see. Um, look at this beautiful day. Hello, friend. Um, all the things that you can make a wish, create art. Oh, I like that. Love, collector of memories, shine brightly, make today count. Oh, I love that. There's one that says smile, so I'm just going to stick that on here. And look at that. Now I could take one of my little gems here. And stick a little gem on there. And see, I'm, I'm not matching. I'm not trying to have this uh, color correctness, I guess. And that's where the mindless crafting comes in. Just want it to be fun and unique. Look how cute that is. Okay, let me put that one over here. Move another one in here. Okay, so we got this one. Let's go ahead and work on that other one. I'm going to move some of these other things out so that y'all don't. <laughs> y'all can see what I'm focusing on. Let's do this one. I'm loving that. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on here. Just a little. Stick that right on because these are a little bit heavier. Super cute. Let's move this one. May as well go ahead and put this one on too. These are adorable. And these were sent to me by my friend uh, Patricia in Happy Mail. And these are just super adorable. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay, let's see what we got here. Don't think I'm going to do the lighter sticker on that one. This one I'm going to just put um, Be Your Best. And I'm going to stick it on one of these other right here. It's perfect. Be Your Best. And let's get my scissors out here. I'll cut that off. I'm just gonna stick it right in between there. Be your best. This is why I like to save all my little scraps. I put too much glue on there. I love saving all my little scraps of paper because you can use them to outline your messages. Put that right there for now. And let's see what else we can do here. So 
So if you notice, I'm kind of going random here. And we've got two embellishments already done there. Add another one on. I'm going to take that lemon off and let's see. Lemon off and strawberry on. But that needs a message also. a little banner for this one. Okay, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and put my banner on and then add my strawberry. So I kind of want my strawberry off to the side. Just like that. Yep. And I'm going to take my words. Let's say hello, friend. Make a wish. Be your best. Good life in my heart. Make it count. I love that. Be true. Let's get that one. I'm just going to put it right there. Be true. I am really inspired, trying to inspire you all to use what you have in your stash, things that you already have. It's not going to be expensive. Because we know crafting can get pretty expensive. Okay, so there's the third one done. Oh, I'm loving these. Look how different each one looks. Just so different. And I see I'm going to have to get some of these Tim Holtz words uh, just to have them like all the time because I love them. They're just so adorable. Ooh, what about, some, oh, let's see, on this one, I'm going to add a red polka dot heart and make it fun. You don't have to really think about this stuff. I know some of you say that one of the biggest things you do is you're always thinking about it. And just stop. Just grab a couple of things and just start doing stuff. That's I think we're trying to match everything. We're trying to figure out everything. And I know I've said this before, but we really are. And all you have to do is just start where you are. Oops, I'm trying to slip that under there. Okay, and let's get a word here. Remember the now, happy together, this very moment. Uh, these would go really well in your, um, in books, in some of your mini books or your flip books. Rise above. I like that. This happy life. Love you to the moon and back. I like that one. Sweet life. I'm going to put sweet life because of cherries. Okay, let's see what else we can put on here. Add a gem on there. Move that out the way. Okay, and maybe, let's see what this looks like. I kind of like that. Let's 
See, I'm just going to glue this down on here because I like it. And I'm just going to cut that little piece off. Just like that. So cut it shorter. There you go, just following the line there. And let's see what else we can add on this. Ooh, what about one of these little sticky leaves? That'd be cute. Yep, let me just put that there. Another one coming off of the other side. Yep. This is truly mindless crafting. I just said I have to just get some of my stuff out. It's just too many cool things in my stash and I have to just get them out. Okay, so that's done. Loving the way this looks. These little papers. Stick that right there, and I'm just going to take one of these. You are loved. Yep, I'm going to put that right here. So words mean so much. I need something that's going to stand out a little bit more. I love the way my desk looks right now with all of these little gems on them and embellishments. Just everything is just so colorful. This is my this is definitely my definitely my happy place. Let's put a third one on there. And imagine adding these to a greeting card. Just very different and unique. This one over here, I love that green and yellow and let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, I love that, I love that greenish tone, so I'm just gonna make a banner out of this. This paper is really pretty too. This can go any way you want it to go. And I know a couple of people that love owls, but a nice teacher's journal would be nice. Something for a teacher. It would be so cute. Let's see. Let's celebrate, trust your heart, best day ever. I think that would be nice. Something like that. Best day ever. And let's see, I need to break that color up with a little heart. Oh, 
Okay, that one's done. Imagine if you just kind of sat for a little bit um, and just just made, just went for it and said, you know, I'm just going to glue it and, and be done. I mean, you can really make some amazing and unique things out of these. I've got, let's see. It says celebrate on it. So let's see what I've got here. Let's glue one of these down on here. Let's turn it this way. Got a cutesy little flower now. There's a flower right here. This flower sticker is real cute too. Ooh, that's adorable. Ooh, I see where I'm going to put this at. Oops. If I want, I can cut these apart, but I see a, a perfect place for this right there. Yeah, look at that little birdie right there. That is so cute. It's a little bird in a basket. And let's see, this is uh, these stickers are recollections, dimensional stickers. These are adorable. It's a little birdie in the basket. All right, let me get some. See what I want on here. Make sure I'm still in camera there. Sometimes I could get so caught up that I actually <laughs> forget that I'm on camera. This is real pretty too. Let's see. I'm going to add something to this. Go with your heart, shine brightly. I like that. These little strips of paper, I'm telling you, don't throw those away. Um, you want to keep those. Oh, I hear my little doggy under the table there. Shine brightly. I'm just going to tuck it underneath there. And let's see what else I can add to that. Leave that there. Tuck my leaf right in here. Sure you can see that. I need one little something right there. Or maybe two little somethings. I'm liking that polka dot. I'm liking that red polka dot. I think that would be a great addition right here. Oops. Okay. So we got one, two, five done already. Actually, <laughs> we've got seven done. Boy, time flies, doesn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and finish these last bits off here. I think this would be really cute. Um, let's see. I've got some little flowers I've had in my stash. I need to be using these. Look how cute these are. Little flowers sent to me by my friend Melanie. And I'm going 
gonna go ahead and put some glue on here. You see, I'm working on a bunch of stuff here at once. And it's so fun because I'm not allowing my myself to think so much about this. Let's drop a little gem in there. Ooh, that little green gem is going to be cute. Yeah, your eye will definitely find the color. But that's all you have to do is allow your eyes to find the color. If it looks good, just, just go with it. Let's get another word here. I'm going to use that Be True. And I'm going to just pop it on one of these. See, I've got a couple of scraps here. Let's go with a white background for that one. You can always find something to do with these. I really hope that you're liking this, um, me sharing a lot of the stuff that I would do with my scraps. I know a lot of you said you have a ton of scraps, so as I come up with ideas, I will share them with you. But I know I have a lot of scraps too, so this helps me too. Look at that. I need a gem on there. One random gem just off to the side. These are going to look so pretty on, um, on greeting cards. Oh, let's put one right here too. Because three is a charm. There we go. And as you can see, I'm not using any of my tools. I need to use them, but I just, it's just so fun to use your hands sometimes. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. I kind of like the way that lemon looks on there. And if it looks good, I guess I'll have to go with it. When life gives you lemons, you're going to have to rise above it, aren't we? Rise above it. And you notice I'm not being perfect in my banner cutting. I'm just doing it. And you can send, if you have a crafty friend, you can make a bunch of these and send them to them. They would love it because then it kind of adds a little bit more to their stash. You kind of trade off. Or I know a lot of you said sometimes making the cards can be time consuming. But if you have a bunch of these, it cuts down on the time. I'm going to make a I'm trying to use up all my little hearts. So I'm going to put oh, look at that one with the heart in it, that little tiny heart with the heart. I'm going to put it right here in the center. These little these scallops remind me of like a little canvas. That's all I'm doing is really filling up my canvas with cutesy little things. Okay, and we got that one done. One's all done. 
I am having so much fun with this. Okay, we got three more to do, but I can sit here and make a ton of these. I don't know about you, but this, this is so much fun. And because I'm in my own craft room, I get to play around and do something that I absolutely love doing. And there's no rules. It just kind of, the rule is to have fun, basically. Oh, look at that. I love owls. That's cute. Ooh, that's pretty too. Okay. I'm going to go with this. It'd be nice to have that owl kind of off kilter there, just like that. We'll go great on a card. Let's see. I love owls, but I want to put an owl on there. This owl is a sticker, so let's see if I can find something to put that on. Got another circle here. Let's see how that looks. Just drawing something out here. Well, who says you can't layer another one of these on top of another one, huh? Hey, I might as well just put that right there. May, may as well do that, right? Okay. I'm going to put that owl right there. Okay, so <laughs> it was unplanned, but it's fun. something else in there. Ooh. Put one of these stickers in the middle of this flower. That is super Super adorable. I am loving that. I'm not mixed. I'm not matching up any colors. I'm just kind of just doing my own thing here. Okay, and one little gem off to the side. I hear my dog underneath the table here. caught myself thinking too much just now so come on back <laughs> all right okay and that's what I got and look how cute that is adorable that's gonna look really cute on a card or even the cover of uh, some type of mini book or mini album all right and we got these two left Oh, I had fun doing this. If you have not tried this yet, what are you waiting for? Hmm, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I'm about to make something. I'm 
to use this little orange gem on the pink. I'm going to do it. Look how cute that is. See, nothing real fancy, just, just doing this. And your colors are going to find themselves. Just got to let yourself go with the flow. That's cute. I'm loving that. Let's see. Ooh, let's see. I guess I'll put a pink gem in that one. Yeah, why not, right? I've got to like unclog this this glue. I'm using for those of you that want to know, I'm using my favorite art glitter glue. Perfect for doing embellishments and things like that. And it dries clear. So even if you run over on your glue, it's still going to dry clear anyway. So no reason to worry. I've got one of these. I'm going to start cutting this up. And sometimes you find yourself keeping papers because they look too pretty to cut up. Don't do that. <laughs> I find myself doing that too. And I was like, why am I saving it for whatever that special occasion is? Why not make every day a special occasion, right? a little bit but I don't want them to be to measure up exactly the same there we go yeah, I'm gonna add another orange gem on here y'all don't understand if you're having a stressful day well maybe you do understand try to do some of this mindless crafting this is so Fun. Okay, let's see if I want to put this on there. I'm really liking these black stickers for some reason. I'm liking them. They just stand out so much. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Create art. Perfect. I love that. Let's see. What else I want to add on there? I might just leave it. Well, let's see how this looks. Nope, not feeling it. At least I found that out quick. Right? Let's see what we got here? Oh, I forgot about these. You pull out things that you meant to use, and then you end up putting them, not using them. And then that's me. Once the camera goes off, I'm like, oh, I could have used that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just have to say it's not going to work. So, oh, that's cute. Little footprints on that. Okay, so. Just leave those there and work on this one. And this is actually the last one. I'm going to take this and live this life. I love that. Yep. Let's see. 
a little bit of I need something. Let's see what I can find in here. I need something a little bit darker. I'm just rummaging through this thing right here. Can't use the same color. Okay, let's see how that goes. And this is the top part of the paper that has the little ridges on it. So I'm going to use it for this. Live this life. Ooh, that butterfly. Yep. Going with that butterfly. Oops. Might have used too much glue on that. Let's see. Oh, that works. Alrighty. the heart it does not have to be complicated you just do it and let's see if I want to use any of those little flowers let's see something how pretty that is. See, this is how you would, this is what I would do to add it to a card. It's just kind of start gluing stuff down to other pieces of paper to give it a backing if you want it to stand out. Just a, another little hint, something that you can do. And just place it on one of your other scrap pieces of paper. And then you just cut that off. And so you can save it when you're ready to add it to a card. These are going to look so cute on whatever project they go on. So I didn't add my lemon, so we'll save that for next time. Let's see if I want to add something. Ooh, yeah. so now you can build out your card, kind of. Take this flower, add it to the corner over here, and so you know you've got a whole nother thing going on with this. And then you add this onto another card base. You can layer it, and then you've got you've got your card. Simple and easy. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this. I absolutely enjoyed sharing these with you. Each one is just so unique. Get those scraps out and just go to town having fun with them. Everything does not have to match up. Be true, All right? Have a sweet life, whatever that means to you. For me, sweet life is creating and sharing with all of you. And making each day the best day 
ever. And always remember to shine brightly. And be your best. You see how all this comes together, right? <laughs> ah, in case you haven't noticed, I love to inspire. So I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration. I am really loving this little tool right here. My scallop punch. Um, I hope you are inspired. Get those punches out. Even if it's not the scallop punch, use something else. And just start creating. And don't forget to smile. So thank you so much for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.